Hello everyone. This is the first time that I've spoke publicly on this issue. I am nobody special. Just a woman living in Scotland and trying to understand how on earth we got to this point. Men and some women in the corridors of power are handing our hard-fought women's rights to men and anyone who identifies as a woman. It's very simple. Anyone who identifies as a woman and who isn't a woman is a man. What does it matter? How does how someone identifies affect my life? I hear so many say. Well, let's start with the elderly. Who here wants their elderly relative to be sitting waiting for intimate care, either in their own homes or in hospitals, and for that care to be delivered by a six foot long haired man wearing a nurse's uniform? Who here wants their nine year old daughter to be holding in the loo all day at school because there are boys in the gender neutral toilets? Who wants their daughter who enjoys playing football to be endangering her physical safety by sharing the pitch with a great big bloke with hands, feet and legs twice the size and strength of hers? Who wants their daughters to be sharing changing rooms with men identifying as women who feel emboldened to walk around bollock naked in view of the children in there? Are we suddenly okay with endorsing homophobia? Last time I looked everyone who was allowed to love anyone they please and we were delighted to see the introduction of same-sex marriage, something gay and lesbian people have been fighting for for the longest time. Why is it that now we are telling young gay and lesbian children and teenagers that it's possible that they were born in the wrong body because they feel different or confused about themselves? And that a dose of debilitating medical treatments and mutilating surgeries to their genitals and breasts will fix these issues. Feeling different and confused is part of growing up. Everyone goes through those years of awkwardness and not liking everything about yourself. It is normal. So why is everyone upset about language and pronouns? Control. It's about control. If your language and communication can be controlled, then it's much easier to control what everyone says and what everyone does. This directly affects safeguarding of women and children. We all know bad men exist. There are plenty of good men, but we know bad men are around us every day. This is why we have protections in the first place. It seems at times people forget this. Now, if we've convinced everyone to call men she and literally believe they are women because they say so, what happens to those protections? Who wants their daughter, sister, mother to be in a single sex space with potentially any man in Scotland because he claims to be a woman? Then we have the situation in prisons where a man who often chooses to self-ID after he has committed serious sex crimes because he knows he will be put in prison with women. These women are often effect, uh, affected by serious PTSD from past experiences with men. It is cruel. This government has entirely lost, lost the plot. There are, they are no friends of Scottish women and they are no friends of Scottish children. They are riding on the coat tales of the popularity of independence and yet seem more determined than ever to push through insane policies affecting women, women in Scottish prisons, what defines a woman, and of course the nonsensical reform of the GRA in terms of self-ID. Most recently, they've been highlighted handing money to the porn industry, where women are hideously treated and um, exploited. What's next? Women's rights are... Human rights!